Hey guys, I'm Mr. Chuka Blog. Welcome to another awesome video. Okay, so Bitcoin, quite all right, is the dominant uh, crypto in the crypto space in terms of market cap. And why is why why is that is happening is that Bitcoin has proven itself over time that it cannot be hacked. Okay. And not only that it cannot be hacked, but nobody controls Bitcoin. So which means if you want to have majority control over Bitcoin, then you have to pay the price. And by paying the price at every single time you are trying to buy as much Bitcoin as you are buying, uh, as you want to be able to have half, then you are also driving the price high. So it doesn't make investment sense to do that. So that's why Bitcoin, that's the only thing making Bitcoin attractive not controlled by any government so which means the likes of blackrock and vanguard that are the biggest fund managers in the world they have clients in russia they have clients everywhere in the world but because of the us dollar some of those clients can actually you know invest as much as they want so now you have bitcoin etf and they are buying it up that's part of the reason why it's going up another part of the reason why it's going up is that we now have wall street guys in bitcoin so you're going to see them play the you know the wall street game of you know buy the rumor sell the price sell the news <laughs> okay so but the future of crypto does not rely on bitcoin okay why because you can only the only way you can edit the net the network or the code of bitcoin is to fork bitcoin i mean f o r k okay just like uh, the fork that happened that created bitcoin cash and other bitcoin sv and all those stuff okay but the future belongs to the altcoin now i'm not talking about shit coins like meme coin okay now let me not use the word shit coin okay let me use meme coin because everybody is now categorizing all altcoins as shitcoin, okay? Especially Bitcoin maximalist. Bitcoin maximalist. Calm down. Calm down, okay? Bitcoin is not the future of crypto. Yes, it's store of value for now. Something is happening in the financial space. Everybody is low key working on something. And that is why Bitcoin, that is why Ethereum ETF is going to get approved. Because we are moving a digital world. Everything is going digital. Except from, except from investment assets. You get money is going digital. Investment assets are not. Because you either buy bonds, you know, the normal way. Or you buy real estate, the normal way. So tokenization is here to stay. And that is why you see... The likes of Ethereum, BNB, Solana, uh, ADA, all these other projects that are blockchain projects, try, projects trying to come up with solutions that will aid tokenization. That is digital ownership. We're talking about digital ownership, even digital identity on the blockchain. Because one thing about the blockchain is that the blockchain guarantees transparency and security. So, which means if my name and my data and my ID is on the blockchain, it shouldn't be hard for you to verify. And because it's verifiable, you can easily, it's authentic. You don't need to have me, for me to have digital ID. I can just have a digital ID or have a digital ID on my phone and you can swipe it anywhere. It reads me and it can go a long way to even money, you know, payment, a lot of things. But that is not the world of where Bitcoin plays. Bitcoin is just store of value, just like gold, just there. But you see the altcoin space, <laughs> it's just getting started. Ethereum, that's why you see Ethereum Foundation investing a lot of, you know, layer two projects, trying to see how they can, you know, come up with something. So that's why you see a lot of layer two projects, ZK Zinc, Light, Era, you see Arbitrum, Optimism, different rollups. You have now you now have the polygon evm roll up you know a lot of stuff going on okay then you have the bnb you have the bnb chain bnb smart chain you have the bnb beacon chain 
you have Solana, you now have SRP trying to work on something that has to do with now tokenization and maybe projects happening on the blockchain. You have Cardano, you have Polkadot, a lot of them all working towards the same thing tokenization, digital ownership, and that is the future. And that is when we now know who is the, who is the king of crypto space. And who is going to be the king is the platform or the blockchain that is scalable enough and affordable enough for real world applications to be built on them. You can't build that on Bitcoin. So Bitcoin minus malice. Calm down. Hmm? Calm down. You're just getting started. So guys, that's it for this video. Just want to uh, educate you guys. So when you're making your investment decisions, as you're thinking short term, also think long term. Okay? Alright guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Till I see you guys next time. Take care. Bye for now.